Gonna change the world. Oh, it's Friday. 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 Wow. Gonna Always a, a real great day on Friday, isn't it? Feed the poor and heal. The only thing that can make it better is if Jer wasn't still in Costa Rica. Jer was not on vacation right now. <laughs> I don't think he's thinking about us right now. What? I feel like Jer is just... He abandoned us. Abandoned us. He's not even thinking about us in Canada right now. Hey, he left us a message for the last He pod, did leave so. us a message. Yeah. Shout out to Jer. We're excited to have Jer back on. Yeah. Looking next forward week. to that next week. Gearing up for the playoffs. I'm, I'm so pumped. Though, I am pumped. I don't know what it is. Just the energy's in the air. I'm really, like, I'm just looking forward to watching hockey, like, every single night in the first round. Oh, I'm going to be, like... Um, like, do we have to set yeah, up, it's like, a, a madhouse, bro? Like, every other night, do we just have to set up, like, pod. watch the watch the game with the boys and, and have a pod, you know? Like, it's gonna have to be, like, it's that's what it is, man. It's literally every day there's gonna be videos, there's gonna be headlines. Or do we live stream, like, news. while the games are on? Like, try doing that, like, a watch party. Yeah. That like, would be funny. I don't but know. I'm down know, for whatever. I'm dialed on those games, though. Yeah. Like, I have to go up to my office. Like We have to set up a, a private room for you here, and then we yeah, can watch with Jer. Make, my, my make your video. Videos. and <laughs> yeah. Like or you can just have Jer and I help you. It's not yes. like we're also – we can have creative it's ideas for it's you. A different, it's a different space, though. <laughs> I, I, I go up alone. <laughs> I need my silence. Mm. Like, that's that's part of it. Like, uh, part of my creati- creation is definitely, like – I create a lot by myself. Mm. Like I am very creative alone. Yeah, and it is, and it. I when find you can it think more yeah. difficult when you're collaborating, and like even just like the energy, having other people's energies, you got to like bounce off of. And if it, they're not in the same zone as you, it could be very difficult. Mm-hmm. I'm learning to collaborate more. That's yeah, definitely something I mm-hmm. enjoy. That's why the podcast is great because it's a collaborative energy. Yeah, but when I'm like acting, mm-hmm. I find I'm the most free right. when no one else is in the room with me, and I can just be. That's fair, yeah. His character, I can be. Anytime I've helped Jer film stuff, a lot of the time he has like a general general direction he's trying to go, and I kind of jump on board with that really quick, and then just give him things to like fuel his yes his ideas, and then like let him cook. Yeah, that's what kind of what it is like. Especially yeah. if you have like like I don't try and like like put him down a path where he wasn't already thinking. I'm just helping him yeah. enhance that path he's yes. already on you know yes. like branch out into yeah like can we add oh there's little yeah like yeah. little things here i just there, find but... i don't even communicate what i'm thinking yeah you'll end up being like just a brick wall and I'm just when like, you're with I'm a just group like an yeah. improv like i just like improv because i have it in my dome mm-hmm. it's in my head yeah i don't know what i'm about to say but right <laughs> and then like yesterday i didn't know the video and i was just like riffing and i was like just start and it was a whole different video it changed the whole concept of the video changed like midway through i'm like oh i, I got it yeah and it was like okay this one's gonna be different like yeah it's just you it's mm-hmm. I'm it's a discover you're you're taking yourself down the path of discovering the story yes. yourself yeah yeah i like that that's that's an interesting way of going about it yeah but yeah it's friday so we got what well, we have sty no sty to start this we do have sty no sty let's do, or fuck sty daddy. No sty. let's do it i got a i got a fun one this week okay i'm excited i wish jer was here as well but I think that our opinions are the most important anyway. Yes, I do, I do as well. I as well, I do think my opinion is just far more superior than everyone else's opinion in this, in this world. So You're also one of the most humble people in the entire universe. I am the most humble yeah. person. Yeah. I don't think there could be a more humble person than me. Yeah. All right, sty, no sty, or puck daddy. You know the rules, chipster. Yellow laces. Oh, sty, we know this. It's got to be Sty. Ovi with you yellow just, laces. You just picture Ovi. And he would have them hanging around his pants. And he would have the yellow laces hanging down. Mm. Like 08 when he put up 65. Yeah. Ovi with the yellow laces and the yellow laces hanging on his pants. Yeah, that's like Sty. Yeah, that's definitely Sty. I wore I think, yellow laces because of him. I think like it doesn't necessarily even need to be yellow laces. It's just if you are an elite player and you do something different. Yeah, it just and you and sense. you own it, and you don't like back down on it. That's so true. You know, like Matthews with Trends his mustache. Are, yes. You know, like ever like, there was a lot of people who were like, "Oh, he's gonna get rid of it." Like, no, th- that's gonna, not gonna last. And no, he's, he's like, "No, nope, it's mine. It's mine. It's, it's mine." bro. Yeah. Like I, I, I had black laces. Yeah. And they looked nasty because I was like all blacked out. They were oh, so yeah. sick. Like it was a little different. It wasn't the. The plain ones that everyone else uses, like mm-hmm. just being a little different, I think is sty. In my Definitely opinion. sty. Being a little different and being confident in yourself, puck daddy. That's what it is. That's puck yeah. daddy. It's almost yeah. yeah, like the yellow ace is almost puck daddy because it's different. Mm-hmm. You're confident in yourself. 
and you're sniping 65 goals a season. So it's like, whoa. How can it not be Stye? How can it not be Stye? Yeah. You know? How could that not be Puck? Whereas if you, like, play one game a year and you're not even having fun. No Stye. doesn't matter what you're doing. It's no Stye. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If you're not having if fun, not it's, having it's fun, no Stye. It's no yeah. So there we go. <laughs> All right. Next up here. This one it dates back a, a few weeks here. The Detroit Red Wings octopus tradition. Oh, yeah. <sighs> we were talking about this, like – Nowadays, you probably can't do it, right? Because people are like, oh, it's terrible. You can't be having a dead octopus. But if the octopus, you know, is on the – like, if you're using it and then you go eat it after. <laughs> you think they're eating it after it's been out on the ice? Maybe. I Maybe mean, that's sty. If you, you know, the the not Detroit wasting, Red Wings employees are like, mmm, sushi on the menu. We're not <laughs> wasting an octopus. Yeah. I think it's sty. Like, it's, it's tradition. It's tradition, like, yeah. It's tough. I, I'm, like, on the fence. I don't, I don't care either way. I think there's ways to set a tradition and keep a tradition that doesn't need to be so authentic to the original that it doesn't. Yeah, like catch. you get a rubber, you could try to get like a fake octopus or whatever, but yeah, like it's then how much money you're spending on a fake octopus just you know to throw I mean? it on the and ice? Now it's plastic. You're killing the earth with plastic. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like so what I would do. Lose, lose. <laughs> what if I was the the Red Wings? I thought about this actually. The, if they're like getting some backlash on it, which whatever, who cares? Like who cares but, like, at this point, bro? At what point are they letting people come through security with dead octopuses because yeah. they know it's a tradition? They should just confiscate them and give them a replacement to throw or something. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. it's like, here, throw this instead. You can still be in on your little, your fun thing. It's got to be real. I feel like it has to be real. So it's just like, what's the point? <laughs> like, it's got to yeah. be. Or it's not the tradition. Let's like yeah. commit, you know, if we're going to commit to the octopus, like, right. but I understand, you know, mm-hmm. but if it's already dead. Yeah. And you went to the market, like... Yeah, who who are you harming? Maybe the octopus actually has a better, like... It's got more it's got a legacy on now. it now. It's got a legacy, exactly. And now yeah. it's actually, you know... We got to give them names before we throw them. Instead of chopping it up and eating the thing, maybe it's got, you know, it's got a legacy now. Yeah. You know, hanging up on the wall, stuff it. All right, so we're calling that one uh, maybe. <laughs> that one's a maybe. That one's like, we don't want to get yeah. canceled, so we're not sure what the answer is. Yeah. On <laughs> All right, next up here. Slap shot and warm ups. I think it's Stye. Yeah. Well, like, what about a men's league? It's like, a little different. Well, like league, back in the day, yeah, we would all line up from the like just inside the blue line and warm the goalie up with slappers, like yeah. like a semicircle. Mm-hmm. But like, if you're just teeing one up from the hashies and put, you know, like, <laughs> probably no Stye. So it's context matters. Context. Matters. I think if you're playing in a competitive team where you actually have a planned warm up, and slap shots are part of that warm up, and everyone's doing them. Yes. In that drill. It's it's Stai because it's like you're getting ready. You need to warm up your slap shot. Yeah, you, you need could, to warm up the slapper. Yeah. Whereas if you're doing a warm up, it's not really planned, and everyone else is you're just kind of doing your own thing. It's like more of a casual warm up yeah. type thing. If you're ripping clap bombs at the goalie when he's just trying to get a few off the pads. Yeah, like maybe, men, men's league slappers yeah. are no style. I don't think I I take I think I took one slap shot mm-hmm. the entire year last year. Yeah, well, two. It both, was in the final game, actually. One of the leagues I play in, you can't take a slap. Yeah, so I mean, so slappers in yeah. like men's league is kind of no style. Like, just don't be the guy <laughs> winding it. And up you know, it's going right past throw. the ears. Yeah, too. <laughs> it's never or hitting. Or like net. hitting your ankle. Yeah, it's not not. There's not a guy skating behind the net, or it rips off the post and hits the Even guy. Even if it's on your team, you don't want the guy taking a slapper, bro. Like, yeah. just snap one on there. Just float one in, like. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need you wire one up by my head. Exactly. All right, next up here, sty or no sty, or puck daddy, body spray. Body spray. Not cologne. Like not girls perfume. Like girls body spray. Men's girls. I love when the girls have the body spray on. Body spray. It smells great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you're smelling good. Is I'm a big cologne guy, so like I'm a big like. But See, I don't wear it everywhere I go. I don't and I don't put yeah. too much on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. I do collect cologne. Like I love having. Mm-hmm. I love this different scents. So like, there's the. I'd say that like cologne and body spray like where it's like really the, do spr- body the spray. spritz like because there's like the axe there's the aerosol can ones yeah like deodorant i kind of like, like under the arms i feel like it doesn't matter as long as you're not going too hardcore with it yeah i feel like smelling good's always a good option yeah. like you can if you if you right, feel I mean, more confident with it it's better than it, sweat and you smell good then yeah good for you sty like better than bo yeah definitely like, better than bo like you know so mm-hmm a little bit of body spray, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna get sty. Maybe we should come out with a body spray yeah, that's body called spray. BO. Yeah, BO, BO, the BO extinguisher. <laughs> BO extinguisher. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, because you don't want to smell like shit. Yeah. Pardon my language, but yeah. you definitely don't want that. Yeah, you want a little bit of body spray might go a long way for a lot of you guys listening at home. The reason I ask it is because I remember like growing up, it was you'd have like gym class in school or you'd have hockey practice. And there'd be that one kid that's like, oh, I don't need to shower. shower and then he'd, can, he'd take the Axe body spray. Yeah, shower in a can. Then he'd leave and it's like, I don't need to shower. Yeah. He but it's like, like then it like, just smells like mass smells body like Ax, odor. It smells like Axe Phoenix, <laughs> the blue can. We all have yeah. that can too. That's the that's the OG can. Yeah, yeah. That is the OG I feel can. like those still kick around. Like I, I had a couple of those for that years flavor. that I never used. The best scent. I like the best the flavor. flavor. <laughs> I, I like all of the flavor. I might drink it. Yeah. All right. Next up here. Stai or no stai. Slamming the bench door. Like in hockey. It's been there. Done it. But like not overly. Like it's, it, is it the coach slamming the door? Is it you? Just in general. Could be the coach. Could be you coming off the ice. I think it depends on. Could be a, you got a penalty. I think it depends. Like I'd, I'd probably be more inclined to slam it if I just like got hit from behind and someone just rattled my bell. Hmm. Like, if you just, like... You're not really thinking clearly. You're just if angry. If you the shot, probably that's no style. But, like, if someone just, like, almost ended your life on the ice, mm. yeah, f- slam that door. Right. You know, and maybe give it to the guy on the, like, yeah. Like, I think there's, like, situations where mm. it's completely justified. Right. That, like, if you didn't slam a door, like, it's no style. Right. Whereas there's moments where it's, like, if you just missed a backdoor tap in. Right. And you're, it like, It needs sulking. to be something that's worth that you're like you're standing up for yourself by making a statement by yeah. slamming the door. Yeah, like if someone just hacked you in the wrist and like almost broke your wrist and then you're like mm. slamming and yelling at the ref like what where's the call? Right. I see I'm on the board of more often than not it's no sty. Oh, for there, sure. There but is the 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 odd time where it's sty if it's like some the ref misses an egregious call, the other team goes and scores and you're just coming off the ice and you're you're like, come on, like, yeah, how yeah. can you miss that? You exactly. Know? Like, there's yeah. moments where yeah. it's like, and if you, mm-hmm. it's almost like not style if you don't show the emotion. Right. So there's moments you just where you're too care. emotional and you're letting your emotions get the better of you, but there's like a fine line to like, mm-hmm. walking that you got to care too. Yeah. You got to slam that door sometimes, mm-hmm. you know. Got to slam that door so another one can open. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Close it and then another Quotes one. Quotes from the puck dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one's interesting. Yeah. Sty sometimes. Sty That's sometimes, what we're going with. Yeah. All right, this one's kind of related, actually. Chirping the ref on the way to the penalty box. Like you're beaking him after he gives you a penalty. I've been there too often. <laughs> where I'm just like, what is that call? It's usually, I usually beat the ref when they don't call something. For what? For what? I, or for sure. what? Yeah, like sometimes <laughs> it's like if it's a really bad call, but like most of the time I, if I'm going at the ref, it's probably because they missed a call. Mm. Someone just hacked me in the back of the leg. Right, but this is on the way to the penalty yeah. box. Yeah, I'm so... I'm definitely giving it to the ref sometimes for sure. Yeah. Depends. Like if it, if I was guilty, I'll just go to the box. But mm. if it's something where it's like guy cross check me too, and I'm the only one going. Ah. If I'm the only one going and the other guy isn't going, then you're gonna the ref's hear it. an earful. Right. Yeah, I, I'm an emotional player, so. But for the most part. I, I think it's it's it can be sty as long as uh, you're not being disrespectful. Yeah, like if you can like. You're not attacking the ref verbally. It's annoying when the refs d- aren't. Like conscious and present with you if you try to keep it low tone Mm -hmm. and it's like when they disrespect you when you're trying to keep it respectful yeah that's when i get pissed off yeah because i've if i get a penalty which is pretty rare and i'm like i'm often like what did i actually know i'm actually trying to be like yeah like genuinely you break down like what what should i have done differently yeah and then the guy says like just go to the bar doesn't give you time of day Mm -hmm. now it's smoke yeah now it's like all right yeah not gonna even listen to what i say like Mm -hmm. my my go-to if i get a penalty is often I'm just, I'm only like, I'm only upset because how can you call that after they did this to me? You know, like, and I give so them I an mean, example. Literally, I was like, how do you call that, that one? That literally two. At them. How do you call that one? Literally two seconds before, I had six guys hooking me, and they're just not listening to you at all. Yeah, and you're just. And they're that, just. That's when I get. They're pissed. just skating by. They're they're just not acknowledging you. I'm like, come on, man, you can go hear me. Go to the me. box. Go to the box. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and go to the box. <laughs> So it, it can. The refs give it. To we you. got a lot of neutral ones here. It can yeah. be sty, but it can also be like no sty yeah, if you're exactly. if you're being like rude to the ref. Yeah. Like, but if he's rude to you first, then it's like <laughs> that's fair game. What you give is what you get back. Yeah. So. Fair. All right, this one is a layup. Dessert before dinner. This is like it's either one or the other. No, you can't have dessert before dinner. No sty. No sty. No sty. Yeah, dessert like, before dinner. Then you're, you're just wasting dessert. a dessert. Yeah, I've done it, but like. 
For me, it wastes dessert and dinner. I don't know what it is. I usually prefer. I'm not a big dessert guy, so I'd actually prefer just the dinner. burger a nice, you know, and nice, salad. Yeah, you're not don't want to waste don't need your the stomach. Ice cream room. after. You only got a certain quota to reach for yeah, your stomach. Exactly. You don't so want to like, fill it with. Oftentimes, I would prefer the dinner. Mm-hmm. I'm a salty tooth, so. Yeah. Now, are you saying that as a kid? Yeah, I've always been a salty tooth. Like I've always like mm. chips. Right, but like. Chip, say chips are qualified as dessert. Like, so, if you're a kid, well, are you like, I want to like have the, chips before dinner, Dad? I was making an appetizer, yeah. Let's, let's bring out the apps. You know, right. like chips is the apps, and I dust the whole bag. Right. I was like, me at the burrito place the other day. You're like, chips you're, and walk, and I was just. You got chip dust on your finger before yeah. dinner, and your dad's like, or like the, Chippy, you're going to ruin your dinner. Dad, it's an appetizer. Sausage rolls. Yeah, Dad, it's an appetizer <laughs> with the cheese and, cheese and you're like, crackers. You're, you got the dust all the over kibasa, your face. The yeah. the sausage. Yeah, I'm like eating the whole dinner before dinner. Yeah. So dinner, Second dinner. So that's sty. Appetizers are sty. Yeah. Appies are sty for yeah. sure. Dessert before dinner, no sty though. Because you, you yeah. got to know, like you have to be in the right mood for dessert. You have to have enough room. Yeah. You have to be ready for a little bit of sweetness. Yes, it's different. It's definitely yeah. different. Mm-hmm. Like, Hundred percent. Yeah, and if you're doing dessert before dinner, people are gonna give you weird looks. It's just no. Yeah, snack. they're like, "What are you yeah. eating that chocolate Sunday before dinner?" Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, "Are you hungry?" Like, save we're gonna... some food for your. It's also disrespectful if some... and yeah. mashed potatoes and your Brussels sprouts and the yeah. gravy. <laughs> you know. Yeah. All right. Next one here. This is from JJ on Spotify a while back. Cage hang. Oh, sty. Easy style. I got K Chang all day on my hang. I got complimented for my K Chang the other day at the OHL comp. I have a bit of accidental K Chang. Yeah, like I don't have too much hang, but if like, you have zero hang, yeah, it's a very big problem. Mm. Cause now it's like that's chair. Now you got like acne on your chin because your chin straps directly on your mm. oh the cover like the chin yeah nasty. Cover thing. You want to keep that little off, little off the chin. It's kind of hard to like if you did like when you had a mouth Sty guard as over a kid safety. too. It's kind of hard to get a mouth guard. Eye over safety. <laughs> Jer, if he was here, you'd say no style. No, I think. no style. No style. <laughs> What's the point? You, you look stupid. <laughs> you look stupid with the hang. Wow, you do a good Jer impression. <laughs> but we're on the same page here. Yeah, you gotta have a little bit of style. Even when it I helps didn't. Your game. It helps your game. Even when I didn't rock the cage hang, I still thought it was style. Yeah. For anyone else. Yeah. I was never like, that's, that's dumb. You know, yeah. like I. The only reason I didn't is because I was too lazy to adjust it. If it's too loose. You're trying too hard, but like you just have the right amount. Mm-hmm. It's like you like that's just how it should look. Mine I loosened from the pond hockey tournament. Okay, good. Because I needed to to be able to fit a balaclava on. Yes, like the exactly. face cover because it was cold. And now you're like, oh, and no. then I then I just left it there, and I'm like, this is way more comfortable. Yeah, you don't want that thing. Like it's it stops the sticks from hitting my face, and like it's you don't not, really know it's there. You don't really know it's, it's there. there. Yeah, it's like it's, it helps. Yeah. I, yeah, I can't play without a cage. Mm-hmm. All right, next up. Three full lines in men's league. Worst thing ever. I don't think there could it's, be a worst thing. It's borderline criminal. If you're managing it a is team, criminal. If you're managing a team and you allow that to happen, it just sucks. Yeah, because it's I'm not a- even fun. Like if you're like, Yeah, sure, come on out, play, man. Like we could use the extra guys. And then you're the extra guy that they're letting you on the team. Like if I came to a team and I was the one that made it three full lines, I'd be like, oh, What are you doing? Yeah. Why'd you have me out here? Yeah. It's the worst. Like it's a waste. Not time. getting ice time in men's league is the, probably the worst. Thing I'd I've sooner, I've, if you listen to the episode from Wednesday, I'd sooner have five guys. I'd sooner have four. Than, I'd have four than three full lines. Yeah, I'd have four guys. Yeah, I'll play with a man down. Instead yeah, of having to play with three lines or whatever. That's brutal. Yeah, like in men's league at least. Like if yeah. you're playing competitive hockey, then yeah, three lines is fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. And but, but in men's, men's league, men's league, no sty. Absolutely. Like, is there a negative meter? <laughs> is there a negative yeah. sty? Negative sty. Negative sty. It's called neg neg neggy sty. Neggy sty. Neg sty. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got a few more here. Oh, this one I forgot about. Clearing your throat whenever someone enters the bathroom. You know, oh, like, we like, talked about this. This is like you have to have some music in the bathroom first of all. Like if it's a silent bathroom, that's criminal. Mm, like yeah. you cannot have silent bathrooms. That's the worst thing ever. <laughs> But like, yeah, it's just awkward. <laughs> clearing your throat. Yeah, like I think it's... Like just to let them know you're there. Establishing yeah. that you're there. Like, <coughs> I'm more of like a... Maybe like tap the leg. I don't know mm. if I'll do... Like, that's too obvious. That's no style. <laughs> clearing your throat is the worst. See, that's I clear so the throat. I clear that's the throat. That's so embarrassing, it's bro. Like, <clears throat> oh, that's horrible, bro. <laughs> you gotta like bang your head off. You gotta like bang... Bang something. your head off or something. You gotta like... Yo, anything but clearing your throat because that's... <laughs> 
You might as well just say, yo, I'm in here, bro. <laughs> Clearing your throat because I know. Well, sometimes I will. Because I know you're in here, in here. Yeah, like if I'm it's just, if I'm it's a public a shit. if it's a public bathroom and like you don't know anyone there, then I'm just like clear the throat. But if it's like I don't know, like the the, the bathroom at the hockey rink where you know it's like it's hockey boys, you know, you it's like start, ah, I'm in here. You can even start like rolling the the toilet paper, toilet paper, like getting a big big toilet paper <laughs> roll, like <laughs> and then just toss it. So at least it's like looking like you're like the cough is just like so unnatural. <laughs> Like, at least when you roll on the toilet paper, it's For like, me, oh, I clear my throat all the time, so it's just kind of half. No, that's horrible. <laughs> no, that's bad. That's bad. No, you uh, can't do that. That's no sty. Oh, I'm right. saying no sty on the... I think it's sty. No way. Because it's just a... It's whatever method... No way. It, whatever no. means necessary to you're let him know you're there. Because there. <clears throat> it's so embarrassing that you're doing that. No, it's not. Because he knows <laughs> that you're doing that. It's like, bro, I get it. You're in there, you know? <laughs> no, but what's worse, not clearing your throat. I or letting them go to open the door I and it be locked. I sit in silence. If it's like, I'll wait till they're done <laughs> peeing and then leave and leave yeah. before I finish anything. I don't move. <laughs> you just freeze. Like, I'm, like, See, someone, that's no style. If someone else is in there, like I'm not doing anything. I'm <laughs> silent. What, what if they're rocking one too and then you're in a stalemate? Oh, I'm going to tell them you got to get out here <laughs> so I can finish. You cannot stand outside. You cannot be here. You can't stand outside the door, bro. Like, no, 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 no. They're, they're going as well. In a, in oh, that's stuff. the worst, bro. That's like you have to talk to the guy. You have to say like, bro. <laughs> Which one is going here, man? Oh, it's so bad. It's such a bad. <laughs> that should be illegal. It should be illegal having the stalls that close to each other, bro. And, and, and it's silent. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. No music. <laughs> Two stalls right beside each other, and it's silent. You can hear each other's thoughts. Oh my gosh, my bro. cheeks hurt. Fuck. Someone, <laughs> someone, someone said, "Was it you that said you're scrolling on TikTok?" That's even worse. You what? cannot be scrolling TikTok on the can. Oh yeah, some, sometimes. Oh, it's the worst. You not when someone comes in, bro. It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh no, no, like with the sound on, no, no. Yeah, that's what I mean. With the sound on, that's <laughs> like you're the guy scrolling on TikTok. I'm like, yo. I got to get out of here immediately. There's a there's a criminal behind the door. Yeah. <laughs> Even though there's a weirdo scrolling on TikTok on the can by oh, himself God. in a public setting. <laughs> That's bad. All oh right. Oh my. Moving on here. This one is actually a layup, okay? It should be it should be right. an wheelie bags. Oh, no sty. No sty. Let's just that's just needs to be explained. If you can't carry your bag, get a smaller bag. Yeah, like or get stronger or stop playing. Or get your parent like if you're too yes. young, yeah. get your, parent your parent can carry, carry your, bag. your bag. Yeah, if you can't carry it, get your get bad? your mom to carry it. A lot of people are like, oh, it's more efficient to roll, <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's more efficient for your leg days to carry it over your shoulder. Okay. Here's the solution. Strength. There, there's a there's a company Pacific Rink, friends with Jeremy. Yeah, they have bags that have backpacks in them. There you go. And even if it's not Pacific Rink, I'm sure they have kid sized backpack bags. That's still. Better than the wheelie bag. Yeah, dad should be carrying your bag if you can't carry your bag. Yeah, okay, and if no and problem if, with that. And if dad does, is thinking you should be able to, man up. Yeah, hey, get your man legs up. or hit some leg days, hit some squats, get Woman on the scene. up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think you should be carrying your own bag. Mm-hmm. And if you can't, dad should be carrying it. Yeah, until you can. Mm-hmm. So dad, dad or mom. so dads, yep. make sure you're carrying the bag, but just make sure there's not wheels on that bag. Yeah, no sty. Yeah, I wheelie bag. I, I no never style. had a wheelie bag. And I was one of the best players in my age group. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up here, pretending you didn't see someone you know out in public. Oh, that's no sty. No sty. I've done it many a times, and I'm like, <laughs> now it's like, but it really depends who it is, bro. Yeah, like, like if, if it's, it's someone, someone you... like from like six years ago in high school. Oh yeah, I'm, and I didn't really talk to them. That's sty. That's like, just like I'm just walking it's just normal. by you. I'm, I might still acknowledge you. That I just don't know you though. Like I'm just gonna it, act like I literally don't know you. Like say it's someone that was never like nice to you. Say I'm just and you haven't seen them in like years. I don't even know who you are. That's sad. Because it's right like by you, you don't. Like, you're not giving them the acknowledgement that you even. I might still say like I might because I, I just give a nod. People, I just acknowledge anyone that I walk by. Mm-hmm. So I'll just be like yo, I'm like give them a nod. But I'm not like like I think it's worse going when you, out of their way to talk to. Yeah, like yeah. I think it's bad when you like try to avoid them. Like that's embarrassing. Yeah. But, like if you just like. You know, you walk into the restaurant and you mm-hmm. just pretend like you don't know them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's just die. It's, so it's die if it's like someone that's not important. But if it's like. You. But if it's someone you know and like 
there's actually yeah, like on how good of friends you were. Yeah, but like like some people, I was like, "Yo, what up, bro?" Like it really depends on who it is and if you want to get into a conversation. And the last time you talk to them, it matters too. Yeah, if they're if you're like on if they were one of my good buddies that I had no beef with, and we just, mm-hmm. just you know just, just end up not seeing each other for five years, like you might yeah. just be like, "Yo, what up, bro?" Mm-hmm. Like I'll be I'll f- totally get in that conversation depending on if I like that person five years ago or not. Yeah. But, but, then you're, but then you're stuck talking for, like, 25 minutes when you just wanted to get some bread, you know? You know, but sometimes you need those. Sometimes it's like you, you're going to learn, in life. learn something in that conversation or there's a reason why you had that. Mm-hmm. So, like, I do believe in that as well. But Like, not wasting. I'm a conversation guy. I have conversations with everyone mm-hmm. anywhere I go. Yeah. Try to. So, yeah, it definitely, it definitely depends. It really. I think it's no style if you're going out of your way not to run into them. Yeah, because that's embarrassing. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. If that's you're, embarrassing. If you're going out of your way to avoid them. Yeah. That's no style. Yeah. But like, if you like, if you just. Now gonna, they're in your head. Yeah. Now they're living rent free in your dome. Yeah, you're exactly. Like, like walking around. The you almost feel guilt. I've been there. I've been like walking around, like trying to hide, like looking at the t-shirt. Hood up. Put the hood up. Hood up, bro. <laughs> it's bad. Like, nah, it's embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you just got to just. Yeah. Those awkward situations are tough. Like, maybe just get out of your hometown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just leave. Just leave your hometown. Leave, never that, come that's back. That's a sign to like go away. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Last one here. Team playoff haircuts. Oh, sty. Yeah. Uh, we would die. Like we went bleach blonde once. Our team. My team did that. I didn't partake. Oh, you didn't partake. That's didn't. dust. Yeah. That's dust. Back you in the partake day. In your team hair thing. Yeah. Oh, Hayden. I. You would have been getting a <laughs> boatload from me <laughs> in that room. Like, yeah, yeah. I was definitely. Because it's a team bonding thing, bro. If you mm. don't want to get in on that team bonding, that's you're gonna be you're gonna receive a lot of chirps. Oh, you know, I know that you probably received a lot of chirps for not doing it. Yeah, I got a little bit from it, but I was a leader on the team too. So there was a few other guys that didn't. Oh no! It sucked. No, that's not a leader it, move. It sucked. You gotta all do it. If, if like you guys looking are committing, back, if you guys are committing to the dyeing your hair purple, you gotta commit, bro. So that's the thing. You gotta My commit, team, bro. There was a few guys they just did it. And it was like, boys, we got to do this. There was never like, this is what we're doing, like as a team, you know, like we no, needed to so make nasty. We had our, we had our, we had our number in the back of our head. Yeah, we man. Had it gelled. And then we also had, we did it one year. We did like mohawks. Mm-hmm. The other year it was flow and bleach blonde. Yeah. Nasty. Oh, and you're showing up to school. You're like, you're the big dog. You're like, yeah, I got mm-hmm. playoffs tonight, peach. Yeah. Chill out. My hair's highlighter blonde right now. Yeah. You know? See, like looking back, I wish that I adopted that team mentality right like oh, anything for fun, the boys bro. it was so fun but like when i was when i was that age i just yeah you're just finding yourself right i'm like yeah, i yeah, wasn't yeah. i wasn't comfortable so if you're not comfortable then you do you but yeah. like looking back on it i wish that i was more in that head head space like we're a team and this is fun yeah it's and fun it's not gonna hurt you yeah it was if it's so not if it's not dangerous why why you're buddy, afraid to do it you my know my buddy would do like this massive gelled mohawk, yeah. blue, red. I was like, oh my gosh, like, yeah. it was it was hilarious. Yeah, you can't even get your I helmet don't think on. Anyone it. does it anymore? Yeah, you can't bro. even get your helmet on at that. No, it would be, your <laughs> helmet would you have gel and blue highlighter in your yeah. helmet? I don't see anyone doing it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Let us know in the like, like we, if we you play numbers, on a team. We like, put our numbers in the back of our heads and stuff. Like minor hockey shave playoffs, head, we'd shave our heads. Yeah, I I remembered that being a big thing. I think I did the number in my head. Like I did that. But I didn't do the bleach. Yeah, we did the shave. We shaved. Yeah. I did, like I shaved, I shaved the back of my head more and put the number in, but I didn't do the bleach because I, I actually look good with the bleach blonde. I remember I was like, my mom, well, you're you're like I was redhead. Like, no, blonde, yeah, right? I was so, like, I look, I was like, yo, this looks sick, man. Yeah. I, like I look like a for, like a Swedish. Yeah, I was like, yo, I look, I look like a million bucks coming to school. I swear the ladies were looking at me different with the blonde, the the, the bleach blonde. Uh, that's funny. I thought I looked great. But yeah, minor hockey uh, playoffs would have just concluded probably. For most yeah. places, yeah. So let us know in the comments if you play minor hockey. Did your team do any team haircuts? And you guys better get on that. If you guys have stopped doing that, like parents, you gotta parents, initiate. No, that you gotta stuff. initiate. Yeah. That's like, like team building thing. Yeah, exactly. It's a and it's a good way to build character. You know, yeah. like Show we're part of a cool. team, even if it looks ridiculous. It's fun. Go Mohawks, you know. Yeah. It's Go Mohawks. Fire flow, whatever. You team need mullets, do. whatever it exactly. may be. Team mushroom cuts. Exactly. <laughs> Anything. Just make sure you're. As a oh, team. As a team. And that's a puck daddy right that's there. That's puck daddy right there. Yeah. Good way to end it off. Yeah, I like that. Good segment. That was fun. Jer's going to wish he was here for that one. Yeah. I wanted to know what Jer has to say about the hair stuff. Yeah. But moving on, we're doing most Canadian. I'm thinking we do most Canadian ways to get injured. 
I like this one. <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. Just shoveling your driveway, bro. <laughs> what do you just fall lower back oh, oh the 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 hip hinge oh yeah, yeah I, I feel done. that yeah your back's toast <laughs> uh, that's happened to me it's happened to my dad mom oh my back sore probably because you were leaning over your <laughs> hammies are tight and you weren't lifting the, sh- the snow properly so uh, not lifting the snow not using a snow shovel properly right and injuring your back in proper form. Yes, that's yeah. gotta be. Gotta go. Go. There. Gotta go to physio. They get that form dialed in exactly. for snow shoveling. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure there's a class in college for that. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, there might be in Canada. <laughs> there should be. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, if you don't already know it by the time you're 18, are you even yeah. in Canada? I mean, I was up there playing Xbox too much to <laughs> come shovel the snow. But okay, <laughs> be down there in 10. Yeah, 10. It's live, Dad. I can't pause it. Yeah. Oh, that was the classic <laughs> excuse. <laughs> yeah it's live i can't pause it <laughs> yeah, i'm on a chopper gunner right now dad like chill yeah. out bro i think for me most canadian way to get injured i gotta go with chopping wood yeah like because there's so many ways you can hurt yourself like there's an axe sharp edge you you can the sharp edge can do a lot of damage but even without that there's the blunt side of it if you like swing it against your shin and you're like oh yeah. yeah and you, you know like yeah. that hurts yeah that does That's or you're chopping the wood and you make a really nice cut and the wood throw goes flying back. into you throw your back out on you can that. throw your back out just from overworking yourself yeah. or moving the big logs into position yeah. Yeah. even like trying to start a chainsaw and you like you're yeah like into yourself trying to start the chain you're pulling too hard yeah, and chopping you wood throw man. your back out yeah like yeah i'd say that's and like most like if you're ever chopping wood don't you just feel like putting on like the plaid jacket yes you know and or like yes. the the earmuffs oh yeah like i'd say like yeah. I would almost give you, like, just working on the cottage. You know, it's all the stuff you do, like, dock install on the dock. Right. Like, like yeah. dad, like, you know, putting a nail through his hand. Outdoor labor. Yeah. yeah. Like, trying to move the dock into place and sh- sh- breaking your finger because right. you dropped it on the moving stuff around at the cottage. Like, yeah. tubing. I would say tubing. You ever mm. been injured tubing? No. Oh, I, we used to. We would do the spiral of death, and we would be like three of us on the tube. I remember we got popped up once. My buddy kicked me right in the oh, face. Oh, I remember though. And the 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 tube uh, trail is like icy, so it's extra fast. No, like tubing on the boat. Oh, like boating at the boating, cottage. Tubing going around. Oh, the I thought you were talking about like snow tubing. I was like, oh no, no, like tubing on like the like at the Muskoka. You'd be up there, and my buddies, we'd be going the spiral of death, and there'd be four of us on there holding on for dear life, and the leg would your knee, someone else's knee would come up and clock you. Oh, yeah. I remember I got clocked once in the face. Yeah. Tubing. I got is that tubing. most Canadian though? Like, oh yeah, tubing is, I guess Muskoka is pretty Canadian. Yeah, it's yeah. very Canadian. Since like Jer's so, not yeah. here, since Jer's not here, I'm gonna make a statement on his behalf because I know what he would do. What like, he would what, like installing what? a rink. <laughs> no, most Canadian way to get injured, playing hockey. Oh yeah. Yeah, like yeah, you you take a it. take a stick to the tooth, a puck to the face. Yeah. Where yeah, where'd you lose the tooth? Hockey, yeah. Oh, you uh, blew your you blew your back out. How did it happen? Hockey. Hockey. Men's guy league. guy tripped me in the boards. You know, like yeah, or like off ice, like outdoor hockey. You know, like you get yeah. you get a st- errant stick, a skate to the face. You know, like it's there's all be, kinds of. It's got to be up there, number one. I think it's at least number two. Yeah. But I'd say it should be number one. And Jeremy would definitely say it's number one. And since he's not here, yeah, I'm advocating for him that that is definitely one of the most yes, Canadian ways to get is. injured. I'd say that is. I feel like. Yeah. I think we nailed it on that. I think we did too. Yeah. That was fun. That was a good one. That was a good segment. All right. Last segment. This has been a long standing one. It's one of our favorites. We're doing a draft. Yes, we are. What are we drafting, Chippy? Today we're drafting. Today we are drafting. Let's drum roll. We got a drum roll. We got a drum roll here. We do. The best skaters in the NHL. Ooh. Best skaters? Best skaters. So, not around, fastest. Just best skaters. Best skaters. And that could be speed, agility. It's just everything. All right. All encompassing. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You go first. McDavid, number one overall. Yeah, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. That's All a right. layup. Yeah, it's a layup. It's almost like getting first wasn't even like, I mean, it's a almost an automatic win, but hopefully I can. No, but now you got to round out your list. So yeah, you got to round out the list. McDavid is number one for sure. McDavid, but. number one. Um, you know, I'm going Makar. It's a good pick. It's because good pick. he's he's got that open hip. He's an elite backwards. Like, name a player that can skate better backwards than Makar. I don't want to tell you. 
<laughs> he's trying. I know who he's thinking, but I don't think he's. I don't think uh, that's he is. The case. Though he is. I don't so know. Nasty, bro. All right, who's your second pick? I'm gonna go with Barzell. Ooh. Yeah, Barzell. Yeah, is, Barzell's fast. He's agile. And agility. Agile, yeah. so I think he's one of the best skaters in the league. Like just all around, I really like Barzell. Yeah. The only reason that I'm picking this guy is because he's not only one of the most elite skaters in the league. He's arguably. I'd say second best skater with the puck, and that's Nathan McKinnon. And yeah. I got two Avalanche players here, but that just goes to show how much firepower the Avalanche have. Yeah, the damage they're gonna do in yeah, playoffs. McKinnon's a machine. McKinnon's a machine. Have you? Did you see his hat trick the other night? Basically, he just he's skate, He just skated up the ice like no one was there because he's just yeah, that he's fast, that machine, agile. Bro. His crossovers through the neutral zone. Oh, he's such a powerhouse. Like, he builds up speed in their end, and then when he gets the puck, he, he with, hits another level. He skates with yeah. power. Yeah, like McDavid. Explosive. Like explosive, yeah. but like not at the level of like a McKinnon. Like Mc, McKinnon just looks like if you tried to stop him, he would run he's a train through you. Yeah, like yeah. you're not even there. You're not there. McKinnon yeah. would blow you up. I'm happy with that one-two punch. I like that. I'm gonna go. For three, I feel like I feel like you can't keep him out of this talk. Like he's been one of the best skaters probably mm-hmm. for the last twenty years or however long he's been in the league. But Sidney Crosby, oh, I have to go. Sid, he's he always had edge that, work, yeah, that edge work, the open hips. Like he's just mm. like I feel like he's a pioneer, right? For where these skaters are now, right? Like Crosby's been doing that since like two thousand and eight, bro. Yeah, he the open hip. He basically co- like yeah, it was the open Crosby. hip, one hand on the yeah, stick, like, like that's the tomahawk, like the whatever they call yeah. it. The, yeah, the mohawk, the tomahawk, tomahawk. <laughs> Thinking about steaks. <laughs> yeah, tomahawk. Steak. Oh, I love me some yeah, steak. Yeah, but yeah, I've like, been so into the steaks lately. Like I'm gonna be barbecuing all summer. I should I should have you and yeah. uh, Jer over for a barbecue. Love to. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so my third pick. Oh, this is this is tough. There's a couple guys I want to go with, but I think I got to go with another defenseman. Do I want to go? Yeah, I'm going with another defenseman. He's got two brothers in the league. Quinn, yeah, that, Quinn Hughes. That's who I was going to say. Yeah, Quinn Hughes, another elite skater. He And he's different than Makar in his skating style. He's a bit more um, shifty with his puck, and like he does a lot of like cutbacks and like backwards pivots like he's very elite pivoter and changing direction to create yeah, space he's, he's not necessarily the most top speed no but like but in like terms of like creative skating yeah. for a defenseman elite yeah he I, creates I so much time and space i agree i think he's one of the best skaters in the league um used to play against him too no big deal no big deal yeah <laughs> i'm trying to think for number four like there are so many good skaters yeah. I'm trying to just think of like an effortless skater right now. Someone who just looks like Yeah, you're like just they're like, not even trying and they get through the ice like magic. I feel like I gotta say his brother. I feel like I gotta go Jack Hughes. Oh, got Jack going Hughes Jack? Is a great skater. He he is a pretty good he skater. He is yeah. an amazing skater. Like I feel like he that's the reason why he's he's like, underrated in gone. terms of his skill. Oh yeah, like that's like the reason because his hands are so good. Kind of is, but not like yeah. I feel like if you actually watch this guy, like he swirls, he swivels through. Right. There was one overtime goal where he did like one like cut back, and then it was like a yeah Jack Hughes. It's right. gotta be their top five in the skating for me in the mm. league. Like put him on that power edge pro stuff. Oh yeah 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 he's dominating that. I can respect that. This is tough. Like I, I just know that we're overlooking. Yeah, we're overlooking guys. a lot of guys. But it's here. it's like because there's there's obviously like me- our memories are different than what everyone else sees. Everyone yes. has their own team. It's tough to get everyone, especially in a top five. But this is a guy that I've seen play a lot against the Leafs, and there's not many that can match him in terms of creating space on the offensive. Mm. And it's and it, there's another guy on his team that you could arguably pick, but I don't think his his skating is what's the best. It's everything else. Okay. But I'm going with Braden Point. Yeah, he's a great skater. Because P- Point is just an elite skater. He's got bo- great inside and outside edges. Like yes. he can turn any way with the puck, without the puck, and he's got a good top end speed too. Like the the agility. Like he's yeah. he's a he's a He's a menace to play against he if, is, you're, if he you're a is defender. A great skater. And uh, yeah, so that's who I'm picking for my fourth. I like and that. I already know who I want to pick for my fifth, so I'm interested to see if you go with him. I really want to pick someone from the Leafs because I really think he's one of the most agile players in the league. Mm. I still might, but I'm like trying to think of like 
who's on Boston. Like, Ooh. Like, yeah, go through all the teams in your head, see who, who you're missing. Yeah, like Florida, Washington. There's some good players, man. It's hard to round out a top five. What do I got to give you a countdown here? I'm trying to give like I'm just trying to think of. <laughs> I think I have to say, and this is not speed, but just pure, like, talent on his edges is like Mitch Marner. I think his skating is underrated. Right. Like just his edge work, bro. Like yeah. that guy creates so much space for himself. Like that's just that's his thing. If you watch Marner skate, and this is something I've noticed. Almost more than even Crosby, his chest will be like facing laterally, and his from legs. the from the way that he's going all the time. Like he'll be open. It's so more nasty, often bro. than not, but he's moving forward. Like he's just yeah. like pivoting. Like if you watch his torso, it's constantly turning. It's not speed for him. It's no. literally that yeah. that turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, there's another guy I want to say on the Leafs. I, that's who I'm going with. Yeah, I'm I say that. So for me, rounding out the roster, this guy. Has a great top end speed, opens the hips a lot. It's very he can similar he can burn he can burn guys. He's I'd say he's a little bit better at getting around guys with the puck than Marner. But other than that, he's smooth. He's smooth. He's just smooth. He's stylish. He's Willie yeah, Styles. Yeah, Willie William Stiles. Nylander. Yeah, that would probably pick. be. I probably wanted to take that. I think I, I don't know him and Marner. I, I respect close, I respect you with Marner like that. that it's a different style of skating yeah. that. It's underappreciated. I'd yeah. say, yeah, like because it, you, everyone looks at it, it's like, oh, it's not his skating, it's his hands and his creativity. Yeah. But it's like his skating is what enables directly correlates to the creativity. Yeah, like you like, can't be a good creative player and stick handler and playmaker if you don't have good skating yes. and edge work. You yeah, know, yeah, Nylander is so smooth. But Nylander is like he'll get a lot of breakaways and stuff. Yeah, he like literally like you cannot get the puck off him. Like, yeah, once he has it, because he he'll just do a little like fake that way, and then the guy bites, and he knows that he gets better edges. He knows he has better edges than yeah. And he'll just he's do like a, a tight He's turn. got that dog in him. Yeah, there yeah. must be some other guys we're missing. Well, I know there's a guy there. There definitely is. Like I'm trying to think. <laughs> like Kucherov, like. I don't yeah, know. I had Kucherov as like an option, but like, I it's not really like unlike Marner, it's not his edge work that enables a lot of it. Or it's a lot from a it's shot. It's just his way to slow down the game. Yeah. Which is kind of not really a skating talent. It's just the ability to slow it down. It's more like a mind talent. Who else could we be missing? Like guys like There isn't that many. Kaprizov is a pretty elite skater. There's gotta be some more like But really like from the top end talent, like I feel like we got Mm-hmm. Like, Darlene is a really good. He's a great skater, but like not, not high top end speed. Yeah, yeah, not very much burst to him as well, but just elite edges. L.A. Kings, they got anyone like? There's lots of good skaters in the NHL. We could go on and on forever, but let us know in the comments who we missed. There's probably someone on your favorite team that you're Michael. like, how could we no- you not have picked Marchand? Or yeah, <laughs> there's all kinds of guys. Eichel's right? pretty nasty, like, but like not like. There's a reason he went two instead of one. Yeah. Like yeah, David. That's true. Yeah. Let us know who won between Chippy and I. And also let us know what we should do for Sty, no Sty, or what we should draft for the next Puck Daddy show when Jeremy gets back. And tune in for the playoffs because yeah. we're, we're hyped. We know, all know oh, you are yeah, all hyped. It's, playoff time. Just Leafs so are cup up. bound. We are. I'm feeling so good. Chippy, one hit single. Cup bound two. Cup bound. Out. With uh, Sammy just beat Vassy. Yeah, it's a banger. It's a banger. Go listen to that. We got Cup Bound 2 coming out as well. Oh, he's got Cup Bound 2 coming out. Can't wait for yeah, that. Yeah, we got to let that right. drop too. Don't think, just flow, boys. Yes, sir. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have yourself a great weekend. Have a great Friday. Yeah. Happy Friday. Bye. Gonna change the world. Yeah. It's Friday. With Maybe just go hockey home. stick. Chill out for tonight. Gonna make a, a real difference. Over the sun's out. Feed the poor and heal. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Bop, bop.